I feel used and abused. I gave my life as a service to this country because they needed me. Now I need my country and I feel let down. Vietnam veteran Roy Wallace is losing his home. I lost my job now 13 months ago. He tried everything to save it. But I got involved with a, with a shark that promised me a home modification and he held my money and held me up for four months. That's what got me really so far behind. A mechanic by trade, Wallace picks up repair jobs when he can. This is what I do. You know, I'm looking for work. Hopefully I'll have a job this week. For now, working out of this van is the way he makes ends meet. Work on automobiles, trucks, things of that nature. These jobs are not coming in fast enough. So Wallace attended NACA's American Dream event to save his home. He watched homeowner after homeowner walk on stage and testify about a reduction in their mortgage. You know, with NACA, it, it took like not even uh, four months. He and his wife even witnessed the president in the State of the Union speech say the administration will make sure veterans get more than a fair shake. As they come home, we must serve them as well as they've served us. That includes giving them the care and the benefits they have earned. Talk is cheap. Talk is so cheap. They say all these things to get you know, people to vote for them, but when it comes down to doing it, where are they? Especially when he said that they should take care of the veterans, not to forget to take care of the veterans. Well, I'm a veteran. I may not be out of this latest war, but I am a veteran of the United States. This is my home, and uh, I want to do whatever it takes to save my home, but I don't seem to be able to get any help from the government. The government's mortgage settlement with the big banks won't help veterans like Wallace. VA loans have restrictions that prevent those mortgages from being modified to a truly affordable payment. Wallace's home was up for auction, but NACA stopped it. Wallace and his family hope NACA can help them and other veterans stay in their homes, even if the government won't. This is Darren Duarte for NACA TV in Los Angeles.